Hello everybody and welcome to the vloggy thing. Today is going to be slightly different because we are going to go on a little studio tour. I actually had multiple requests for this. I know DW asked on YouTube, but I actually got a request from outside of YouTube for a tour of my studio. And since I don't like visitors in general, I figured doing it this way would probably be better. Now, before I get started, I want to point out that I'm using a different camera, as should be blatantly obvious by the very shrunken field of view and the much tighter on my face image, even though I am literally holding it at complete arm's length away. Not a fan of this Canon camera. It's a Canon something or other that I picked up at Best Buy. Not a fan of it. I've been spoiled by the GoPro. But uh, I'm not using the GoPro because the GoPro is over there set up as a demonstration piece for the tour. So let us begin and we will start in this corner over here because it's relatively simple corner. We have my door to the outside world. Then we have the door to the closet. You will not be seeing behind either of those doors because, well, that's where I keep parts of my mess and that's where I keep the rest of my mess. So no, you're not going out there. Uh, I do have one of these Amiibos. I actually, funny story, promised myself I would never buy one of these things because I think they're just uh, Nintendo just grabbing more money from people. But because I'm a game collector and because I do that kind of thing, I figured I should at least get one of them to represent what they are. Because as much as I might dislike the idea, they're a thing and lots of people like them. So, I mean, who am I to complain? Uh, I've got a nice sword hanging on the wall here. It's a it's a display model only. Uh, if I actually tried to use it, it'd probably just shatter instead of actually hurting anything. Um, picked it up at Flea Market down in Duncansville. Hmm. All right. The blue things you see on the wall here, they are improvised acoustic foam. It actually drops the echo in here considerably. Uh, this is actually hospital bed foam that I found on Amazon for hella cheap. Crazy, crazy, crazy cheaper than real acoustic foam, and it works pretty damn well. I mean, it's not as good as real acoustic foam, but pff, I'm not spending $400 just to put acoustic foam on this wall. Costs too damn much. Maybe if I was actually making money from this, I might, but uh, I'm not, so I'm just kind of screwing around. Over here is my PC setup. We have my PC hidden in the dark there. We have my Blue Yeti mic on its nice little swivel stand that I use. Basically, I can just turn it and start recording. Makes life easy for me. My 4K monitor, which is currently encoding my Loot Crate video that uh, you guys will have seen yesterday. Uh, it's going to go live tomorrow for me. Uh, but yeah, that's the 4K monitor that I keep going on about. Uh, there is my 1080p monitor that I use mostly for media, or in this case, Audacity, as you can see it's recording, or it was recording. It's not recording anymore. Obviously, I have all of my little toys on my desk. <laughs> all of the controllers, the toys that I get out of Loot Crate. I got a Doctor Who Mr. Potato Head that I got from my mom for Christmas. I like that. Uh, a couple other little gizmos and doodads and thingamabobs more acoustic foam that I actually use as kind of a shelf for other little doodads that I get from like Loot Crate and such. Ah, I remember. That was from the first Loot Crate. Very nice. I like it. So right there I set up my GoPro so I can record the vloggy thing. You know, very simple setup, very easy to do. And that is the studio light that I have. I borrowed off of my dad because I use it way more than he does. He doesn't use this one specifically because it's a big overhead studio light. Um, he uses smaller sp specialized lights because he does photography, not uh, videography. So, yeah. Over here is my little table that I record all of the gizmo videos on, all the device stuff. And you can see R2 sitting in his customary spot on his chair. I love having R2 there because that is a working R2. That's one of those robotic R2s 
that you can talk to and it'll actually follow you and such. The batteries are long since dead in this thing, but I still love having them. It's a great thing. Uh, over there is part of my stereography collection. So basically my Virtual Boy and the two uh, Oculus Rifts, the DK1 and the DK2. Woohoo! Over here is my TV where I can play console games. You can see my PS4 and my Wii U back there and very, very black. I hope this shows up better on YouTube than I'm seeing it on the LCD screen on here because it looks terrible on the LCD screen. Uh, but this was my old monitor that I used to have set up. You guys saw this before in the Chromecast video. Uh, but I moved it over there once I got the 4K monitor. And right now it's actually running the Chromecast. Uh, that's what I use it for. And I just stream media using the uh, YouTube app or the Plex app. Over here, I have my collection of Loot Crate and uh, Nerd Block boxes that I got. As you can see, I have several Loot Crates. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six Loot Crates. And I have not gotten my membership card that I was supposed to get after the third. So, yeah, funny stuff. And a couple of uh, other stereoscopic stuff that I guess is also up here. I have my uh, Viewmaster, 3D glasses, that kind of thing. And then we have the Gear VR and the VR1 that I can't remember. Oh, for the Zeus VR1. The Z I don't know how that's supposed to be pronounced, but whatever. Uh, more acoustic foam. We have my uh, spacesuit poster that I got from uh, Carnegie Science Center. My Aperture Lab scar scarf that I actually used after I got it throughout the cold because it's very, it's actually a really good scarf, and I like it, so it's hung up. Uh, we have my Zelda sword. <laughs> uh, this is Twilight Princess, I believe. That's when I got it. And, of course, the little tent my cats play in. And my chair that I, once in a while, take a nap on, but the cats use far more often than I do. And my little fluffy dragon that I got from Anthrocon all those years ago. And that's about it. I mean, the studio isn't that big. It's an, it's small. It's pretty good for acoustics. I gotta do something about the ceiling, though. It's completely flat and uh, solid, so it doesn't do good for audio. I gotta do something over there, too, because those are just flat walls. What I want to do is put a shelf behind that table, or possibly build a shelf into a table, uh, so I can, like, show off stuff behind the table while I'm doing gizmo videos. That kind of thing. I think it would be pretty cool. But uh, I do not have the ability, the, the, the mechanical ability, to build something like that. So I'm going to have to design something, get a general idea of how it's built, and actually pass that on to somebody who actually knows what the hell they're doing. Basically my stepdad. Possibly my dad. He's actually really good with mechanical stuff. So, yeah, that is... Whoop, let's flip you around. Whoop, there we go. And that is my studio tour. Now, the second part of DW's post was actually asking how I set up for the vloggy thing. I would assume that he's planning on setting up for uh, his own vlog. It's my guess anyways. I don't know. So... Well, here we go. Let us walk through those steps. Well, first things first, I have to get Audacity up, and Audacity is pointing at my Blue Yeti, which is relatively simple. And basically what I do is I sit down at my chair, of course, pointed over towards that. The microphone gets adjusted into position, however I choose to do that however fits at the time, and my computer just went into sleep mode. Obviously the GoPro's right there, so I plunk my butt down, plunk, point it at the GoPro. Now, I tend to forget to turn on the light, so we'll reach over and turn on our light. So now I have good lighting for my face from behind the camera, that way I don't get too many odd shadows or anything like that. So then over here, we create a new Audacity. So let's close that guy. New. 
and I hit record. Well, actually, hang on, we've got to turn on the GoPro. Thank you. Make sure you're pointing in the right place. Now, I can usually do that by sight, just by looking at the camera. I can tell if it's looking in the right place or not. You will be seeing it like that. I guess that's more proper. But uh, I can usually tell where if it's looking in the right place just by looking at the camera. But GoPro has a nice little app that you can view what the camera's seeing on your phone. It's really good, really useful. Uh, I hit record on the GoPro. I hit record on Audacity. And as we can see, the microphone's already picking things up. I check the audio levels, make sure it's working. Uh, I don't want these to spike or anything like that. I don't want them to reach the top. And uh, from there, it's uh, synchronizing the audio. And I do that by snapping. So you basically, you just snap. Let's see if I can do this. Let's do this with the hand that I can actually do this with. So you just snap. There we go. And then the spikes show up in Audacity well enough, which is useful. And if you do it right, because I'm doing it this way for demonstration purposes, but I'll actually snap facing the camera. That way I just align when my finger hits my hand with the snapping sound in Audacity, and then that way I can align the audio and the video. Since I don't use the audio from the GoPro, because it's just too low quality for my purposes, I'll use the audio from the Blue Yeti, and it just works better for me. And that's simply it. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to record. So, yeah. So, let's flip you over. There we go. Still getting used to this camera. I do, I'm not really a fan of this camera, though. That doesn't look too terribly bad. I don't like the compress, though, because it's just... I'm a talking head. I don't like that idea. And holding it in my hand and not having the image mirror is confusing the hell out of me. Uh, anyway, so, moving along, actually ending the show, because we are done here, for the most part, I think. Yep, that was the studio to tour, that was how I set up for the vloggy thing, so I will see you guys in the next episode, and as always, keep playing the game, and have fun.